So if we've done enough heartfelt crap, <laughs> can we... So It's the holidays. This is when everything's heartfelt. Yeah. It's so sure. cold outside, we have to stay warm in our hearts. So speaking of staying warm and fires and roasting, mm-hmm. we thought we would present the first annual IFAF Thanksgiving Roast. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> where we just pick something, anything... And give it a good old roasting. Yeah. Sort of in the style of Comedy Central or Friars Club. <laughs> you want to go yeah. first? Uh, you know, now, I'll let you take the lead on this one. I have two, and they're both actually pretty light. Okay. So do do can we do a roast sandwich? I'll do okay, one. You yeah. do one. I'll do the... Okay. Who doesn't like a nice roasted sandwich? That's why we have panini <laughs> presses. Yeah. I'm not even sure what this organization is, but take a look. Oh, I know the one. They've got the word Idaho there, but instead of an A, they've got the state of Idaho, the shape of the state of Idaho. Can we stop doing that, please? And here's why. The state of Idaho doesn't look like any letter in the alphabet except maybe an L. Yeah. So if your word has an L in it, by all means, stick the shape of the state of Idaho in it. Otherwise, Idaho... Right. Is what it looks like. Now, again, <laughs> know, that's nothing funny. against this organization. I'm sure they're fine, outstanding, and that... way better than me. I'm sure they are a less Adler quality organization. <laughs> right. But don't do that. I kinda Stop wonder, doing that. I kind of wonder if that idle ho goes to modern ho. It might. Yeah. It might match. <laughs> so there, there's my light roast. <laughs> that's funny. And you know, even if they would have just done the A, but then made the Idaho like the, the core of the A, that little... Thing, sure. You know, that's that's better. Or if they would have made the D and then did like an archway from the tip down to the, you know, greater Idaho Falls area, you know? So many other ways that could have been so done. So many. So many. Even made that the I. Right. Okay. Yeah. Although I guess that would make Again, it look like Lidaho. <laughs> nothing to take away from your fine organization. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it's, it's an amazing organization. They do great work, whoever it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I don't know if I can necessarily roast it because I'm not as funny when I'm put on the spot, but I'm definitely going to rant about it. Black Friday. Okay. So many people love Black Friday. They wait all year for Black Friday. And I think those people are silly little yeah. gooses. Because here's the thing. You want to know what retailers do? Maybe they'll do like a little sale here and there, but either they're doing those sales or darn near, darn near those sales other times during the year if you just watch for it, or they're bumping up the prices so they can knock them way down later on. Yeah. You know, they don't have to be selling it that low at that time. They're just doing it like that so that you think that you're getting a better deal. And the whole idea of waking up at 4 a.m. to be the first one in the store. Right. The fact that you're like going in and stampeding and trampling workers or children so that you can give a piece (laughs) of tech that's going to be outdated in like a year or two to your iPad baby. No, stop it. (laughs) Stop making people work on Thanksgiving. Stop making people work ungodly hours the day after Thanksgiving. I'm glad a lot of stores have taken the stance like, no, we're not open on Thanksgiving. Right. Go be with your family like a normal person. Finally. After so or long, or cry of not into doing your that. expired carton of soup. Right. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, and it's just it's so stressful for everyone. I hate the crowds. I don't want to be around that many people all at once. And realistically, dude, especially nowadays, they're doing the same sale all month long. You don't have to go on Black Friday. You can go any time in November, and you're going to get the same sale. But because people have hyped it up. Now they have to go on Black Friday and they have to make a day out of it. And it sucks for everybody in the service industry. Stop doing that to people. And there are some people that love that stuff. I know. They're called psychopaths. Right. But they they love it. And the sales are never worth it. Yeah. Like I would rather pay the extra $50 to go on a day when there aren't that many people there and I don't have to fight for my life. Would you be open to doing it? Just for the experience. I have done it once. Okay. I would be open to doing it again, but this year I will be working it. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I went shopping on a Black Friday. Yeah. Black Friday, it really should be pajama and TV Friday. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Black Friday is like Thanksgiving leftovers, Mm -hmm. bumming around on the couch, maybe take a shower. Maybe not. Yeah. Really, Black Friday (laughs) should be the day that you're putting together some leftover monstrosity sandwich. You know? Yes. Yeah. I saw one where the person put, um, I don't remember. Oh, they put the stuffing in a waffle iron and made like that into the, that was the bread of their sandwich. (laughs) Oh, man. 
Mind blown. Yeah, that sounds so cool. So smart. Yeah. But that's what that day should be used for. Not for buying a bunch of crap. Yeah. And also, it's the day after you're thankful for everything. What happened to that? I thought you were thankful. Yeah, you you you, you have a day where you practice, a whole day where mm-hmm. you practice gratitude. And then it's like, consumerism. Right. In my veins. Oh, I hate, <laughs> I hate. And part of it is because I've worked more Black Fridays than I've gone to. But also, I was going to say you're extremely qualified to talk about this <laughs> as a former retail worker. Soon to be formal, thankful. <laughs> Soon to be former. I'm always formal. Come on. <laughs> you, yeah, because yeah. you, you're actually changing jobs. Yeah. So here's the funny thing. I'm starting my new job this week, but I have actively decided to go back and help out on Black Friday because I'm not a total dick. You are falling on that sword. You're jumping on that grenade. Honestly, I. I'm actually being canonized next week at the Vatican. So if you'd Saint like to Carl. come, yes. <laughs> Just, you know, shoot me a message. I'll get you an invite. You can take a picture with the Pope. <laughs> so we, we've roasted using this shape of the state of Idaho uh, as any other letter than L. Right. We've roasted Black Friday. And then I've got one more. Here's an ad for the Grand Teton Mall Santa. Mm-hmm. There's Santa. But he ain't at the Grand Teton Mall. He's because he's first of all he's on an escalator. Second of all, behind him is a bunch of glass. Right. So, hey, Grand Teton Mall, don't you think that the people who are most likely to go to your mall have been before and know what it looks like on the inside? So I know it's an ad for Santa at the Grand Teton Mall, but what I'm really seeing an ad for is Santa in a big city somewhere. Right. That's kind of like McDonald's having an ad showing a juicy Big Mac in a bougie New York or Tokyo Burger King. Mm-hmm. Now, that being said, I actually know a lot of the people who put together the ads for the Grand Teton Mall, and oh. they're lovely, lovely people. I'm sure they are. That's um, what a roast is. We're being snarky because we can, and and... <laughs> Forget your feelings. And very gently, maybe I'll say, this year, when you have Santa in the mall, take a picture to use for next year. You know the professional photographer that's taking pictures of Santa with the kids? Maybe have him snap one with, you know, Sans kids right at the beginning, for example, when Santa's fresh. Yeah. And use that next year. (laughs) It could be useful. You know, I think that too many people don't have what I would call a call my baby ugly session. Right. I think too many people, I think too many marketing decisions are made on a whim mm-hmm. or by people who aren't very good at it or by people who don't take it into the conference room and say, okay, guys, shoot holes in this. Right. We've all been told we're special now. And that's how, you know, you end up with a 21 year old named Brinkstley picking his nose in a meeting uh. because his mom has told him that everything he does is gold. Right. It's so true. And, <laughs> you know? A little criticism and a little shame is sort of necessary, again, to separate us from the animals. <laughs>